Hey everybody, it's Steve. Back in 2019, Wicked Laser introduced the Laser Cube, and people were amazed at how much power was packed into such a small package. Well, since then, they've been continually improving it, adding Wi-Fi connectivity, upping the power to 2.5 watts a couple years later, then introducing a Pro model with ILDA ports and higher scan rates. Their latest product release is the LaserCube Ultra with an amazing 7.5 watts of power. And in this video, I want to quickly show the Ultra's features and then look at the Laser OS software that controls these devices, specifically looking at its visualizer function. And take a look at how accurately it can show you what your laser is going to look like on your computer screen before you actually perform your laser light show. To pack in all this power, this laser cube is a little bit larger at six inches wide and six inches deep. And it weighs in just over seven pounds. And it's got a bigger battery, which extends its run time to between three and four hours. On the back, like the laser cube pro, there's a connection mode button, a key lock, interlock connector, power switch and input jack, eye bolt safety, Ethernet port, ILDA ports, and of course, the Wi-Fi antenna. It's also worth mentioning that with a powerful laser like this, in the US, you're required to obtain a variance or permit from the FDA that allows you to legally use it for public shows. At the same time that Wicked Laser has been improving their hardware, they're also constantly improving their software with updates. And the latest version, 16.3, has a very cool visualizer, or simulator as the Laser OS calls it. And by the way, you can download the software for free anytime you want and start experimenting with all its features. The visualizer, or simulator, appears in this resizable window. And by default, it's in 2D mode, which gives a representation of what the laser looks like when it's projected either on a wall or a curtain. And it really does a pretty amazing job of showing you what a pattern or an animation is gonna look like. When you click this little box, the visualizer now goes to 3D mode, and you can adjust some of its parameters by clicking this little gear symbol. But the best part is by dragging the cursor in this window, you can rotate the camera view to any angle and get a good simulation of your laser's beam when it's viewed from the side. A fairly recent addition to Laser OS is something called the Beam Creator, and it's really fun to create effects. The first thing you do is pick a beam pattern, let's choose horizontal beams and add it. And then you can adjust things like the width of the beam and the number of beams and whether they're static or have motion, and also the color. But they're a little hard to see here, so let's add another one. Let's add some vertical beams. Add that, and now we'll adjust the color on those, and add a few more beams, and let's add some motion to that, a slide down effect. It's so easy, you can just keep adding beams. Let's add a sine wave. And then you can take this, you can change it from a solid to dotted lines. And then you can adjust things like the speed of the waves 
or the number of cycles. You can also decide to just delete beams out of the show that you're creating. And it's just so much fun. You can experiment with a million different parameters until you get exactly the look that you want. Thanks so much for watching this one. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe.